and as a former Conservative, I can tell you that Boris Johnson has a number of qualities, and one of the biggest qualities he has is to tell huge, whopping fibs. That's me being very generous. I mean, I'm being really serious about this. The, the, the attempt by this Prime Minister to seize power for his own ideological interests and intent, I don't think we've seen, certainly not in my lifetime, and this is really serious stuff, this, because the one thing that the Leave leaders like him told us was that we wouldn't leave without a deal. That's what they told us. Now, look, I know he's very good at breaking promises. That's his other great quality. But people did not vote for us to crash out without a deal. And in, in parts of our country, like the North East, that really, really matters because crashing out without a deal, the reason we are all so passionate passionate about stopping it is because we know how bad it is for our economy, especially for good manufacturing jobs like you have here in the North East. And that's why we are determined we will not allow our country to crash out without a deal. Well, where there's a will, there's a way. And in Parliament, I think there is a will. You're seeing people coming together, including people who have voted for Brexit. Let's be really clear about this. You've got senior government ministers who are now prepared to vote with not just me, but, you know, with Jeremy Corbyn. I mean, you know, we couldn't all disagree agree more on pretty much everything but on this people are united I think it's really significant that important former government ministers who voted for Mrs May's deal feel so strongly that crashing out without a deal is so bad for our country that they will come and work with everybody else to stop that no deal from happening because they know the consequences they know how bad it will be for Britain and of course for peace in Northern Ireland which we kind of all forget and whilst next week is really important because we've got to stop a no deal. The only way we then get through this terrible situation that our country is in is by taking it back to the British people by way of that people's vote.